And there you have it. Uh, here is a nice, simple lamp design that you've created from scratch. Uh, the next thing you can do is to right-click and go to Appearance and start applying some materials. Uh, this will make your lamp look more more to what you want because right now there's no uh, there's no materials on it. You can start applying materials by going to all these various materials and and clicking and dragging them to the part you like to create. So I'm going to go to glass. Uh, let's go to smooth. Let's make this green. Let's make this uh, shade a green glass material. Um, I'm going to go to let's say metal and click on brass and make the neck a nice polished brass. Then I'm going to go to wood and make the base a nice finished mahogany wood. So let's say glossy and there you go. Now we have a nice colored um, a nice colored lamp. And lastly, I'm going to go into plastic. Actually, I'm going to go to the other and, and make the cord a nice black soft rubber like that. I'm going to close out. Now we have a nicely uh, designed lamp and if you like to take this one step further, uh, you can convert these in all these bodies into components. So select all these bodies and select right click and say create components. This will then allow you to actually apply some assembly to them, uh, apply joints to them. Um, so we're going to go to the assemble drop down and we're going to click on insert. This essentially will look through your entire dashboard and look for all the models that you've created and um, will allow you to insert whatever you want into your design. So now it's found that I have two designs. I have my first lamp and I have the light bulb model that I uploaded. I'm going to click on the light bulb model and click on select. When the model is inserted, you can now position the model to where you want it. So I'm going to click on the right view and I'm going to rotate this around and I'm going to click on the center manipulator and bring this up to where I want the light bulb to be. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to rotate this a bit more and put it right around there. All right. That looks great. So now uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the cord and the neck. I'm going to actually use the lamp model to cut the threading in the neck itself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the shade for now because I don't need to see it. Hide the shade. And I'm going to go back to the modify combine option. And when I do that, it's telling me that some components have been moved. And it's asking me whether I want to continue with that current position of where the light bulb is or revert to the original. I'm going to say continue. So now I'm going to pick the target body, which is the neck. And the tool body is going to be the threading part of my lamp, lamp, uh, my light bulb. And since I can't see it, I'm actually going to hide the neck for now, uh, which is, I believe, this one. And I'm going to pick the threading right here. And I'm going to turn my neck back on. And now instead of join, I'm going to click on cut. And I'm going to keep the tool. And I'm going to say OK. And now if I hide my uh, light bulb, you will see the threading perfectly cut into the, uh, the lamp neck. And there you have it, a nicely designed lamp from scratch. And I uh, hope this was helpful for you. Let us know if you have any questions. We're very active on our social channels as well as our forums. And yeah, thanks for watching.